This might come as a surprise, but Russia is such a multicultural and diverse country that it's actually really difficult to enumerate all the ethnicities found within. Depending on who you ask, the biggest country on earth is home to more than 170 nationalities, which is really hard to comprehend. Udmurtia is one such a diverse place, and we're about to explore it. Hello, and welcome to 7 Facts. The Udmurt Republic is a multinational and multicultural federal subject of Russia. Over 100 ethnic groups, representatives of basically all religious confessions, are residing in Udmurtia. Most are ethnic Russians, followed by the Udmurts, but there are also the Basermians, the Tatars, Ukrainians, Mari, Chuvash, and a host of other ethnic groups. Christians, Muslims, Slavic native believers, Udmurt native believers, Jews, atheists, all inhabit this small Russian Republic. Despite all this, historically there have never been either inter-ethnic or inter-religious conflicts in the area. While Russians represent the majority, Udmurtia has been established to primarily represent the local Udmurts. These are a Finno-Ugric people, related to Finns, Hungarians and Estonians, and they have been inhabiting these lands since the days of ancient Greece. The majority of the Udmurts' recorded history has been devoted to fighting for survival and rebelling against their more powerful neighbors like the Mongols, Tatars and Russians. Nevertheless, they survived. But perhaps the hardest blow came from the USSR. During Soviet times, most of the Udmurt nationalists and elite have been purged, thus no prominent leaders arose to speak against Soviet rule. Furthermore, large industries from Ukraine and Central Russia have been relocated here, and with them a large number of ethnic Russian workers, which is how they came to represent over 60% of the population. Izhevsk is the capital city of Udmurtia. It is a large city of over 600,000 people and is the industrial and commercial center of the entire region. While its industry, especially the military industry and automotive, are the backbone of the entire republic's economy, the city itself is not just about that. This is a cosmopolitan urban center full of libraries, theaters, museums, art galleries, parks and historic buildings. While it is certainly not the most well-known tourist destination in Russia, Izhevsk can be seen as one of those hidden gems of Europe. Before we get to the next fact, I'd like to ask you one thing. This video isn't sponsored, none of them are so far, so perhaps you'd consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. If you still enjoy my content, go visit my Patreon page and help this channel out. Now we can move on to fact number 4. Udmurts belong to the Finno-Ugric language family, in turn part of the Uralic family. They are related to nations found on both sides of the Ural Mountains and, as the name suggests, do not speak an Indo-European language. They've been around since at least the first millennium AD, with roots spreading even deeper into history. Even their name is ancient. Udmurt means meadow people, from the Permian word od meaning meadow, and the Indo-Aryan word Maria, meaning man, or more accurately, mortal, one who is bound to die. Their traditional belief system is also different from what we're used to, but similar to other Finno-Ugric belief systems. In this view, the world is divided into three realms, upper, middle and lower. More than one god exists, but the supreme deity is Inmar, creator of all that is good. Words can have magical powers, ancestors can be called upon for protection, and all things are patroned by spirits or gods, good and evil. While these folk beliefs are no longer the mainstream, they are still alive in a small proportion of the Udmurt people. One of the greatest composers in history came from Udmurtia, Piotr Tchaikovsky. He was born in Vodkinsk in 1840 into a family with a long line of military service. At the age of five, he already began piano lessons, but his career as a composer would come much later. By the time he was ten, he was already sent to St. Petersburg to be prepared as a civil servant. While he showed promise in the musical arts, there was scant opportunity for a musical career in Russia at the time, and no public system of music education existed. 
Nevertheless, his career as a civil servant eventually lasted for three years, as Tchaikovsky was more inclined to learn music theory. This was an inspired move, as he would become the first ever Russian composer whose music made a lasting impression internationally. Today, Pyotr Tchaikovsky is considered to be one of humanity's greatest artists, and now you know he came from an unknown corner of Udmurtia. Wanna know what else comes from Udmurtia? The most well-known assault rifle in the world, the AK-47, also known as the Kalashnikov. Based in the city of Izhevsk, the Kalashnikov concern is the largest firearm manufacturer in Russia. The company produces 95% of all small arms in Russia and supplies to more than 27 countries around the world. The city of Izhevsk has been in the gun manufacturing business since 1807, but it's the AK-47 that since 1945 gave the city its reputation as the armory capital of Russia. Developed by Lt. Gen. Mikhail Kalashnikov, this rifle remains the most popular and widely used assault rifle in the world because of its reliability under harsh conditions, low price and ease of use. One of the highlights of the Republic's capital is the Izhevsk Pond. Its esplanade is a nice place to relax and a welcome addition to any big city. But this 24 square kilometer lake is actually man-made. It was created in 1763 to serve the ironworks factories in Izhevsk. Hundreds of serfs, who were basically slave peasants, worked to dig out the soil and build the dam. Today, aside from still being used for industrial purposes, the lake also provides the city's entire drinking water needs. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Leave your comments downstairs and don't forget there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye.